I believe that is the end of Life is Strange 1. <laughs> Life is Strange has been conquered. Ooh, okay. Alrighty. I got my thoughts over here. Well, over here for me. Not on screen. Um, so, overall uh, thoughts and uh, comments and things like that. Uh, this, this was a viewer requested game by Pascal Pimper or Pimpare uh, on YouTube. So thank you very much for the recommendation. Appreciate it. Uh, let's see. I enjoyed my time with Life is Strange, but I don't know if I liked it. Uh, this will probably be a predominantly negative thoughts video. Um, I guess to kind of expand on that, I, I liked... Uh, some of the things that this game did and my experience with it was predominantly positive you know I I, uh, I I would say I had fun playing this but I don't know if I necessarily liked it as a game um, it 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 falls into a, a weird space for me and uh, I'll touch on that in a little bit here uh, let's see. Next thing. I'm not a very emotional person. And I don't feel much attachment to video game characters to a large extent. For these reasons, most of the moments that were supposed to be heavy heart moments were just memorable moments for me. I'm a cold, heartless suck of foo, I guess. <laughs> and, you know, I, I, I'm not like, not really into, I don't know if into is the way I want to say it, but um, I don't really cry for characters or anything like that so why 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 is some of this stuff backwards is this fake credits I don't need fake credits right now <laughs> I have a, uh, I'm just gonna keep going here I'm gonna keep going I I'm a little suspicious now. Uh, but yeah, I'm not a very emotional person, and uh, this uh, this game uh, attempted to tug on my heartstrings, and I'm just not a. It's not very easy to do that for me, I suppose. And then uh, my last thing for overall thoughts, I don't know a hundred percent yet. I wrote this uh, yesterday and to, uh, earlier today. Uh, I don't know a hundred percent yet. But I'm slowly convincing myself that Life is Strange isn't really a game. Uh, I'm reminded a bit of Phoenix Wright where the gameplay is choices wrapped in, uh, uh, in the puzzle package. I'm not necessarily playing a game, but rather interacting with set pieces and characters. Now I realize uh, you can strip down any game to these elements, but in this case, I feel like the game is already stripped down. What am I really accomplishing in this game when you strip away the story? What is there to do? Can I grind, explore, discover secrets? It feels like a visual novel to me in every way. Um, and I, I would say, I, having finished it, I would kind of agree with that. Um, Ken even mentioned here that he, he thought it was a good movie. And an interactive movie kind of kind of fits the experience you know it, it it doesn't seem all that that uh that far from an apt description so I, like there really isn't that much gameplay in this game um and I, I really don't know how many things are affected by what you're doing. It, it definitely seems like you're you're basically along for the ride, uh, despite you know there being options and things like that. Uh, there are there were several moments in the story where it definitely looks like you can't really change the the general outcome. You're just changing you know uh, bullet points. Uh, but you know the bullet points under the, the grand scope I suppose 
I'll, I'll, maybe I'll get into that a little bit. But uh, for the story, was it satisfying? Hmm. <laughs> you know what? I, I'm going to say it was satisfying. Um, I didn't get the outcomes that I wanted because this game was uh, much more grounded than I was expecting it to be. Uh, I was thinking things were going to get a little wild and crazy and uh, things... I, I would say that it kind of just took a step back from the crazy and was like, you know, we're just going to stick to the time travel. We're we're not going to do any any supernatural things with that. So I I, I kind of appreciate that. Um, I, I, I was I was hoping for some craziness, but we got something a little bit more grounded and and that that's that's fine. Uh, I'm, I'm OK with that. Uh, did it feel complete? I guess I can say that it felt complete. I can't think anything off the top of my head at the moment to where I would say that plot thread wasn't um, explored or something. <laughs> Crazy theories. Uh, let's see. How was the pacing? I have here uh, no idea, honestly. Feels like it should uh, should be pretty awful seeing how many times we goofed around doing stupid stuff, but at the same time, we were on the story path the whole time, in a way. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't really know how to to go about that. Um, because like. It was kind of like a movie, so in that case, was the the pacing fine? Was it not fine? You know, uh, how do we how do we go about that? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> All right, we good. <laughs> yeah. uh, thoughts on the story? High school students are stupid. High school students are stupid. <sighs> um, remember when? Remember when Max and Chloe lied down on the railroad tracks? Who does that? Going back to high school students are stupid. Who does that? Uh, in a game where it seems like real pop culture seems to exist in it. How can Max nor Chloe see the ramifications of spamming time travel powers? In fact, on my ass, uh, there's not even a discussion about it, even when Max's nose starts bleeding. Every time she uses her powers, we can see blood on the outer frame, and sometimes she clutches her head in pain. This, this is kind of wild, you know? It's, it's kind of wild that... That it took until like the very end of the game to, oh, I didn't save Alyssa. I didn't even see her. Sorry, Alyssa. Not bad. Um, I that 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 just bugged me. Like, sh show a little bit more uh, intelligence here, please. Uh, let's see. I am still disappointed what happened to Kate, both story wise and mechanically. I know I kind of discussed that a little bit earlier, but it just it just kind of sucks. That she she died to to what I would say is game mechanics. Oh, you know, I, I did help Joyce, but I went back in time on accident and I didn't redo the conversations. Oh, my bad. Um <laughs> if Frank doesn't get busted by David for having his gun, I'm gonna be super salty. I've set this plot or plot up perfectly. Uh, even if David has to die for it, I need this outcome. I'm mad disappointed. Like, I feel like that would have been the best way to go about it. But instead, we got a really obnoxious plot point of kind of turning Frank around to be our friend. You know, that, that didn't make any sense to me. Not a single bit of sense. 
You know, we owe him money. Well, Chloe owes him money. Um, when am I going to get my revenge on Victoria? She needs to get bodied. <laughs> uh, uh, I, I, I guess I never really got my revenge on her, even at the end. I wish I, wish I had an option to slap her or something. Like, come on, give me something. Uh, I feel like this game is definitely giving me crazy signals on the level of Supernatural, but I'm afraid the story is just a dream. In that case, it would be the biggest letdown. In fact, it'd be hard, or, uh, it'd be, uh, difficult to find any explanation that's going to actually be sufficiently satisfying. And I, I would, I'm gonna go ahead and say that they didn't really explain anything. You know, obviously they didn't understand um anything either but we didn't really get any good explanations for why things were happening because time travels just all kinds of messed up you know um but whatever um having entered episode 4 i'm not even confident that all these plot threads will be wrapped up it's not a lot, but they go in so many different directions that I feel the story is going to get nonsensical in order to cap them off. And it did get a little nonsensical to cap them off. You know, we had to be friends with Frank and, and turn over a new leaf with him. We get uh, absolutely uh, surprised with um, uh, what's his face? Uh, Jefferson, Mr. Jefferson and all that other stuff. Uh, you know, like there were there there were there was some craziness in there. Um <laughs> moral of the story, just be nice to people, man. Be respectful. <laughs> Words to live by right there. Uh for some writing, I know te uh teenagers and high school students are and uh, or can be similar to the depiction in Life is Strange, but my goodness, is everyone a jerk or does everyone just spout obscenities out of their mouth at every opportunity? It especially feels so out of place for Max. I don't... I, I, I realize that this is most likely an everyday thing, you know, in school. I mean, you probably can't walk down the hall without hearing the F word or something like that. But Max didn't really seem like a character that would... would would say that stuff if if not at all then with as much frequency as she did um so that was just a, a little weird on uh for me um where did i leave off uh characters uh, literally the only characters in the game that are genuine, nice people are Chloe's father, mother, and I have here Mr. Jefferson, who is, uh, not a genuine nice person. <laughs> um, every other character is a sucker foo. And, uh, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be sticking with that other than, you know, Mr. Jefferson. Uh, I don't, I don't really get why every character in this in this uh the story has to be such a jerk you know there's like e even max is is just kind of a sucker food too like can we can we get some uh why are we hating on warren like that okay warren warren's a g all right i i didn't i didn't write that or i wrote that prior but warren's a g i forgot about him thank you ken <laughs> squirrel guy man all right, I'll give you Squirrel Guy, even though he only has like three moments in the entire game. I'll give you the Squirrel Guy. Um, let's see. Uh, Chloe is such a bad friend. Here I am helping her out, and she constantly throws her mistakes in my face and blames me for not taking the blame. Should have stayed in timeline too. Just saying. Uh, at least then she was a nice person. Um, yeah, I I kind of touched on this. Chloe is just. Like, she really is just a, a really, really not good person. <laughs> you know, like, uh, it, it, it gives you those moments where it makes you forget 
all the horrible things that she does, but she she just puts us in situations that she should not. Um, she needs to take some accountability for herself and and realize that you know things are her fault, not everyone else around her. Super obnoxious. Uh, is Alyssa a meme? <laughs> Uh, she's definitely a meme. Every time I see her, she's having something unfortunate happening to her. Unfortunately, she died at the end. I was looking around. I didn't. I didn't see any other people. Uh, but uh, I'm sad that she died because I. Well, she didn't die. Die, but she died. But uh, I. I, I would have saved her if I would have. If you know, if I saw her. Uh, yeah. Scroll down here. Uh, let's see. Uh, for gameplay mechanics and design, what gameplay elements stand out? Uh, I know it mentions, or uh, I know the game mentions that it plays better with a controller, and it does, but the mouse and keyboard controls are really underwhelming. Holding down the mouse button and then hovering over an option to release the mouse button is very, very awkward, especially when 1, 2, 3, 4 is right there on the keyboard. So you can use WASD to move around. I'm guessing you can use the arrow keys too, but you know, with WASD, you only have four options at any given time. Just have us press one, two, three, four, you know, like the whole mouse selection thing is just, that's a no from me, dog. Uh, some of the dialogue choices are wild in this game, especially the ones involving Kate in a indirect or indirect manner. Uh, it's, less about common sense and more about how things just seem to go from one extreme to another. Um, I, I've, I've touched on this quite a bit, uh, quite a bit. So I guess I would just say that it would be kind of nice to have a little bit more nuance and a little bit more, uh, steps forward, some checkpoints and things like that. Um, you know, just, just kind of screwing up and to see someone just jump off of a building is, Kind of rough. Uh, some moments in the game, such as collecting the bottles to shoot at the train tracks, are super gamey to me. Uh, which is uh, kind of interesting because, you know, I'm struggling to think that this is a game. But uh, having the player go collect the bottles instead of them already being there or Chloe helping out feels like a waste of time. Forced exploration for the sake of just because. Um, there was a couple moments in this game that kind of did those things. And uh, it really does just feel like a waste of time to, to do that. Uh, you know, you could argue padding um, in that particular case. Uh, for uh, music, um, I didn't really get a chance to hear um, a lot of music. Um, the most memorable music tracks that I've heard are the ones that um, were like in the montage sequences uh, you know, the one that's most likely getting claimed on YouTube and things like that, um, or in, and Twitch. Uh, I, I don't really, I don't really remember much of anything. There was, there's a lot of, of like environment noise going on. And so, uh, maybe there isn't just a lot of music in general with, with this game. Uh, also nobody, uh, is this freaking philosophical and big wordy and normal uh conversations i don't i don't remember that being a a big issue but that just could be my memory we all know that's really bad uh for voice acting uh, i thought the voice acting was pretty good i don't have any issues with the voice acting at all although the lip sync was pretty wonky there was a part there at the end where uh max's lips weren't even moving when she was talking to warren um, I think even Warren's lips weren't even moving uh, a few times. Uh, it was it was interesting. Uh, for the graphics, um, th this is going to be kind of out of place for me to say because I normally don't really care what the graphics look like. You know, I mean, well, let me let me rephrase. Um, you know what? Let me just scratch all that. Um, Usually when it comes to games, I don't necessarily comment on if uh, the graphics don't look that great to me. Uh, but in this particular game, I didn't really like the visuals. 
Uh, I mean, it, it's kind of like in between a, we want a muddy stylistic approach and we want a, uh, realistic, you know, maybe, maybe even photorealistic look to it. And it just doesn't look good to me. Um, but you know, it's just my, my own personal taste. Um, and I even had the, the settings on max, uh, 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 the highest setting, you know, not to confuse people. Uh, so, you know, it, it didn't like, even in, at that point, it just didn't look appealing to me, I suppose. Uh, for replay value, uh, could potentially be replay value. Uh, I have a feeling major events, especially Kate's situation, don't affect the story that much, but it, pr it uh, it's probably worth a playthrough to find out. Um, so I mentioned earlier that I don't think a lot of the major plot points really change anything. And I have a, I have a feeling, like a gut feeling, that even if you save Kate... You know, she goes to like a mental hospital or something like that. And she's not in the school anyways. And so like nothing really would change right there. And you would still have to deal with, oh man, she tried to jump instead of, oh man, uh, she jumped. Because there's a lot of lines of dialogue that uh, just talk about her uh, on the roof rather than her dying, you know? And if you in in those specific conversations you would imagine that they would talk about her dying rather than her just on the roof but you know maybe maybe i'm just reaching too far who knows um and then my last section if the developer is watching uh i'm not the audience for this game and i don't think the core uh, core of the game should change to include me. I enjoyed the experience, though. Uh, I, I definitely don't think that this is my kind of game. Um, I, I, I guess I prefer a little bit more, and this might sound a little weird, but uh, interaction. You know, uh, when I'm playing my JRPGs, I like to, to fight things. Um, it would be a really weird JRPG if the characters were... And again, this is going to sound weird, uh, like moving on their own. And then when they reached a conversation with per uh, someone, you know, you got like a, a dialogue wheel to go through the dialogue and then they go into combat and they do their own combat and things like that. Um, it's, it's not a very good analogy here. I'm really bad at analogies, but um, it, it just doesn't seem like it, it has enough interactivity for me to to make me enjoy the the motions you know the the moment to moment interactions that i have with the game um, i like the experience but when it comes to the gameplay it just it just doesn't appeal to me um and i have nothing against trying out the sequel uh contrary to what may be a popular to belief or to everyone's surprise, perhaps. Um, I, I, I might actually play the sequel. I, I have the Captain Spirit one, you know, so I uh, hear that's a lead up into the second one. So, um, you know, maybe someday when the game goes on sale and I have a, an interest in it, you know, I might, I might play Life is Strange too. Who knows? Uh, but that's going to wrap it up for my thoughts. Uh, again, overall thoughts. Uh, it's not, not really my kind of game, but... I, I, I enjoyed playing it. I don't regret playing it at all. Uh, it, was, it was certainly interesting to, to, to see these characters do incredibly stupid things and, and just kind of get annoyed at stupid high school kids doing stu stupid high school things, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. But uh, yeah. That is going to wrap it up for me for today. It's been an almost six hour stream. I am going to get out of here. So thanks for watching. Appreciate it. See you tomorrow. Uh, as I play something else. Peace.